right, you guys. Let's tap in and see what we need to hear today. This whole collective, myself included, I haven't drawn any cards. So like, what does this collective need to hear right here, right now, in this moment? I trust that whatever comes through is for the highest good for all of humanity. I think we all need some encouragement and some big virtual hugs, just spreading that unconditional love. I think that is what humanity is truly thirsty for, to be seen without judgment. Let's get into it. All right, starting with work your light. Let's see, let's see what needs to come through today. What is the energy? Star seed. What lights you up? Focus on yourself right now. Follow your highest joy. This is not a time to get involved with outwardly things. Bring it back to yourself and focus on your inner world. What is it going to look like to make you feel the most fulfilled and happy and content, you know? Your inner world reflects in your outer world. So if you're riddled with anxiety and fear and guilt and shame, that's going to be what you're seeing. Okay. What lights you up? What lights you up right now? Drop it in the comments. What is currently lighting you up? Sparking your joy. We have the Council of Light popping out. Divine orchestration. Helpers in the subtle realm. You guys, we are so divinely protected right now. We are on our highest timeline. We have all the Ascended Masters, all the ancestors before us. They are literally ushering in this new, this new, this new earth energy, this new earth frequency, if you will. <clears throat> it's going to be a shift in energy. It's going to be a shift in frequency. It's already here, but you have to tap into it. You have to choose. Okay. This is a choice that every one of us has to see the good, to be in the high vibrational energy or be in your own living hell. Okay. <sighs> oh my God. I probably just saw my coffee tongue. <laughs> Cute. Um, Oh my God. I literally, before I, when I pulled this deck, I said to myself, I was like, if the Lumeria card freaking pops out, this is going to be such confirmation that we are like, we're doing the damn thing. Like we are going to the new earth. The new earth is here. It's created. We just have to anchor in the light. Okay. And you guys, <laughs> the Lumeria card creating heaven on earth. It's happening. It's happening. Oh my God, I could cry. I could cry. Oh my God, happy tears. And then birthing a new age, birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into beginning or into being. You guys, I can't make this stuff up. We are embarking on things that most of humanity is not ready for, but it is so good and it's going to be so good. Like just think and sit in the vibration of like all of the darkness, whatever darkness looks like for you is gone, eradicated. Okay. This is the splitting right now that we're seeing in out in the world. Okay. The chaos, it's the splitting of the two worlds. You can choose to either focus on all the destruction and crumbling and deteriorating of the old earth, or you can choose to focus on ushering in the new earth frequency and um, what you want to create in that 
world? What does your ideal life look like? And like, get really real with yourself. Like if you're truly just want to lay around and be pretty and put, have flowers in your house every day and just do all the things and just go out in nature and go on walks and go to, um, like hot springs and lay around in wild, a field of wildflowers, like get real with yourself. If that's what your heart truly desires, it's yours. You just have to believe it. And that is where we're going. Okay. That is where we're going. I feel really called to read the Lumeria card. So hang on. Okay. I'm going to show you the imagery one more time because this is like what I envision the new earth looking like. Okay. Heaven on earth, I just, I have to say this, heaven on earth is a frequency. Hell on earth is a frequency. If you're living in the seven deadly sins, the fear, guilt, shame, lust, envy, gluttony, all of these low vibrational energies, you're going to be living in your literal hell. And it's here on earth. Or you could be living in your higher chakras of love and light and authenticity, peace, joy. And it's going to look like this. That's heaven on earth. Okay. And it's all in your mind and in your heart. Usher it in. Believe. Lumeria or Mu is one of the earth's lost lands where heaven really was a place on earth. Think of like the garden of Eden a time before we were kicked out of the Garden of Eden. In Lumeria, life worked in harmony. All beings were seen as equal, and we were deeply reverent to Mother Earth. We knew that a mosquito was no worse than us, and the sun no better. Perhaps you too believe that heaven really can be a place on Earth. Perhaps you are part of the transition team who at soul level are devoted to creating this kind of harmony on the planet now. Thank you for wanting to do this work. It's easy to get overwhelmed by the state of affairs on the planet right now, but you are being encouraged to keep holding the clear vision of the future. It is closer than you think. You may be guided to hold the frequency of Lumeria in your own community, family, workplace, or within yourself. Know that it is possible, and while at times it may feel like you are alone, you are truly not. There are hundreds of thousands who hold the codes of this ancient lost land, and even Lumeria, Lumeria crystals that hold the codes of remembering that, that are beginning to rise all over the planet. Keep doing what you are doing, and remember, the only way to heal the world around us is to first heal ourselves. This has a light transmission, which asks us to hold it to our heart. So envision yourself if you feel called to do this transmission. To accept it, just envision yourself holding this card to your heart and repeat after me. I hold the codes of Lumeria and I believe that heaven really can be a place on earth. I hold the codes of Lumeria and believe that heaven really can be a place on earth. I hold the codes of Lumeria and believe that heaven really can be a place on earth. Hell yeah, it can. And it's coming. It's coming. Okay. Let's go ahead and pull, see what comes through with the angel guides. See what our angels need to say. Can I just pause right here to just thank whoever is watching through the screen right now? I am so grateful for you and your time. This is an energy exchange, okay? And I'm so thankful for your energy, okay? Surrender. A lot of people need to surrender right now. If you, let me try to say this with grace. If you were let down by the outcome of the United States election, 
this is asking you to surrender all of the fear and the shame and the sadness. Just surrender it all because we have to remember that the one true creator that's everywhere in the sky and the leaves and the sand and the rocks and the mountains in the ocean, that's all God. It's all source. It's all the universe. Okay. It's all encompassing. It's all around us. This is much bigger than a freaking United States election. Okay. It's bigger than the face that you see. Okay. Trust that what is happening right now is for our highest good and the highest good of all. That doesn't mean that we're not going to see horrific things happening in the world. They have to. Just like in winter, the leaves have to die. The flowers have to die. The beauty has to die in order for springtime and the new to come. If you believe in anything, whatever you want to label it, it has our back. Okay? Surrender. Surrender it all. All of the negative emotion. Feel it. Understand it. And let it go. It doesn't control you. Okay? You control you. You control you. Where's your mind? Where's your mindset? Focus on the good. If you don't believe in the man that just took the, the seat, then just trust that whatever he's being used for is going to turn out okay. Okay? You don't have to like the guy. But you do. Oh, that was a lot. Okay, I'm just going to take this. these two. These really called to me. Strength and guidance. Tune into your inner strength to get through whatever this is for you. Signs and reminders. I was really drawn to the butterflies. I could see the butterflies peeking, peeking out. And, um, oh, this is like right on point too. I just went outside yesterday and saw the crescent moon. Like it like took my breath away, um, honestly. And so we're, this is like right on point. Um, we're going through a huge transformation. Okay. Think about the little caterpillar who goes through chaos, literal chaos. Like if you look at what happens when a caterpillar goes into the cocoon, it literally like metamorphosis, literally like their bodies go into like mush. Could you imagine if our, like, I feel like that's what our bodies are going to be doing. It's like kind of like we're morphing into something different, right? But the caterpillar doesn't question God, source, universe, spirit on the way to get there. Okay? Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Let's just see what the tarot says. Let's see what comes out with the tarot. This is such a... I hope you see, like, the uplifting, like, that there is good coming you just have to get out of your own way and see it. Visualize the good, okay? Spend your time. Instead of instead of spending your time thinking about how much you don't want this man in office, how much you think all these crazy, horrific things are going to happen because this man is in office, don't waste your precious energy thinking about that because that's what the universe is going to give you because the universe wants to give you everything that you want. So focus on what you actually want, a good life, an easy life, a calm life, a, a, a life of ease and luxury, whatever it might be for you, okay? Yes, we have the hermit, okay? I'm being guided to tell you that this is either a confirmation that you've been in a hermit mode and to stay there, or this is asking you to... um kind of go into hermit mode right now. If you're somebody who is just triggered left and right right now with what's being projected out in the media, this is your clear sign to turn the media off, turn your television off and hermit for a little while. Okay. 
make your little inner life magical. Okay, we're, we're coming up on like Thanksgiving and Christmas, a magical time of joy, okay? Don't focus on what's happening out in la-la land, okay? Things that are just, you know, we don't even know if they're true watching it through a television, okay? Don't put your trust there. There's a lot of foolery in the media. And this is definitely a time to slow down, be still, find the joy in this time period, and just hermit with it, okay? Sit in happiness, sit in joy, how, whatever that might look like for you in your individual life, okay? If you're a painter and you love to paint, hermit and paint. Paint your emotions, paint what you feel, okay? Let it all out. Those, if you have any any fear, guilt, shame, resentment, judgment, those are all lower vibrational energies from our root chakra, the beast within us, the devil within us. That's where those come from. And you need to transmute them. You need to turn them into light. There is no truth rooted in fear. So if anything that you see in the media that makes you feel fearful, there is no truth in it. Okay? There's no truth in it. Oh, the Four of Wands. It's a celebration. This is a time of celebration and ushering in what we truly desire. <sighs> and the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is such a loving energy, like soulmate energy, uh, twin flame energy, if you're into that. Um, but like soulmates don't have to be like a romantic relationship, okay? Soulmates can be friendships, they can be parents, they can be animals. You can have multiple soulmates, okay? And this is a time to gather with your loved ones and just rejoice and be happy. Like, there's no room for darkness. The darkness is going away. Just let it fall. Let it fall. We've got a lot of cards that fell out, so let's see what they are. Holy shit. <laughs> you can see the eyes. My, my eyes are just like welling up. I truly love what I do. I do. This is like pure magic for me. So fulfilling. Okay. <laughs> we have the King of Swords. Which is all about like clarity and logic and like it's so clear. Like this is a clear path. A, a clear message. Like you are embarking on so much clarity in your own individual life, followed by the Empress and the Star. This is divinely happening for us, not to us, okay? Don't play the victim here. It's happening for us, not to us. These are major arcanas. These, this is big life events, okay? The star is all about hope, wish fulfillment, goodness on the horizon. You know, like, I'm also hearing, like, again, like, be the star of your own show. Don't let other actors bring you down, okay? Be the star in your own show. There's huge clarity that you've shifted through. You huge breakthrough with this King of Swords energy within communication. Swords is all about communication, okay? Air energy. Um, Aquarius. What is that? Aquarius, Gemini. I don't know the last one. Anyways, I don't have them all memorized. But this is like, this is like clear communication going forward aha moments, sparks of clarity, using your logic and discernment and, um, what's that word? Like cognitive dissonance. 
something like that is coming to mind. Um, but yeah, Empress is all about like that nurturing mother energy, um, divine goddess. Okay. Like this is, this is where, this is what we're moving into. Be excited for it. Be excited for it. Hold that frequency, hold that light, hold that vision. Okay. Hold that vision. Create the life you want. Okay. Just create it. You're the creator of your own life. The biggest bit of wisdom I can share is don't focus on what you don't want. If the words, I don't want this, I don't want that, don't say those things. You're, that's, that's literally speaking it into existence. I, I feel called to say this. I don't know why it popped in my head earlier. I have a song that I listened to called Abracadabra. And I had learned a while back that Abracadabra comes from the word Avracadabra. Um, I don't remember the origin, but um, it literally means to speak, to create, or I speak, I create. And so when you think about like all the childhood movies that are like abracadabra, like you're speaking things into existence, okay? It's like a spell, like abracadabra, and then whatever you say after that manifests, right? So say I want. Don't focus on what you don't want. Focus on what you do want. So here's an example. Uh, for those of you who have kids or have had kids, they might be all grown up now, but you could probably remember how many times you're like, don't run down the hall. Don't run down the hall. Stop running, right? Or not not stop running because that's that's being direct and telling them what you want. Um, but the, when you say don't, they they don't hear. Their subconscious doesn't hear the don't. So they pick up keep running, right? Or whatever. So if you want your kids to do something, don't tell them don't do it. Tell them what you want. Please take that to the kitchen table or please stop rocking in your chair like that. Don't tell, like, don't say the words don't, okay? Don't focus on don't. Focus on want. What are you wanting them to do, okay? I hope that made sense. <laughs> Sometimes things make so much more sense in my head. And when I try to like speak them, they don't really come out the same way. But hopefully that made sense. You know. But anyways, okay. I'm going to leave it there. Me and little baby Onyx say we love you. And at the end of the day, we're just here on this human experience to feel it all. The good, the bad, the ugly. Okay. Just... Focus on your own mindset. Do your healing work. If you come across people that trigger you, triggers are literally just a reflection of what needs healing inside of you. So take those triggers as tools to dive into yourself and figure out what needs to be healed, what needs to be let go and released. Okay. All right. I love you guys. Remember love wins.